Good afternoon. Hundreds of flowers have been laid in order shot in memory of two teenagers who were run over while jogging. 17-year-old Lucy Piggott and Stacey Burrows, who was 16, were hit while crossing a road on Tuesday. Both were members of a local athletics club. A 20-year-old soldier who was arrested on suspicion of drink driving has been released on bail. A woman who was inside a house in Swindon where a fire broke out on Sunday has died. The 30-year-old has yet to be named. She was among four, including a baby girl, taken to hospital after the blaze. Police say the fire isn't being treated as suspicious, describing it as a tragic accident. A multi-million pound upgrade to the A34 opens today with new slip roads at Chilton. There's been 2,000 accidents on the route which runs from Winchester to Oxford in 22 years. A mother and three children died in one crash in August. Police officers in Bournemouth have started wearing body cameras as part of a six-month pilot scheme. They'll be tested on the front line before being rolled out across all of the force in Dorset. Brighton and Hove Labour Party, which was suspended amid allegations of intimidation and ballot rigging, faces being split into three local parties. The move could mean an end to suspension, but leading members of the hard-left group Momentum say they'll refuse to work with a steering committee of officers being imposed by the National Party. Our problem seems to be we just have too many members who turned up and voted for supporters of Jeremy Corbyn, people like me, People like Mark Sundell, both of whom have been ruled off the pitch. Mark has been expelled, I have been suspended, we're not on the steering committee. Whereas people who've got no connection with the city are on this 19 member steering committee. The owner of a Brighton takeaway has been fined more than £6,000 and banned from running a food business for six months. Inspectors found grime on the floors and food kept next to dangerous chemicals at the new Lotus takeaway on Dyke Road. Royal Wilton Bassett is officially opening today. It's filled of remembrance. Based at Lydiard Park, it will feature more than 20,000 individual tributes with special recognition to those who served in Afghanistan. Well, let's find out now what the weather has in store. Simon is coming next with the forecast. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, it's one of those will they or won't they kinds of days. Sunny spells and scattered showers. Will the showers land on you? Fair bit of dry weather around this afternoon, but if a shower does turn up, could well be on the heavy side. But it's breezy and it's cool, even though temperatures are into double figures. Now, as we head through this evening, the showers continue for a time. By around 10, 11 o'clock, we should be short of them altogether. And then overnight tonight, clear skies, and that means it's going to be very nippy indeed. Frost, yes, also a bit of patchy mist and fog too and certainly uh, temperatures down to around freezing in some rural spots. So a nippy start to Friday, but apart from it being a cold day, it will be dry and fine. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. I suppose that's one plus. Well, as always, we have lots more for you at six o'clock this evening when Fred and Sangeeta will be here. But for now, from the team here this lunchtime, thank you for your company. Do have a lovely afternoon. See you soon. Bye-bye.